Good morning, I'm Eric Lenask. We are here in Austin, Texas uh, for IT Expo 2012. And on our program this morning, I've got Peter Blackmore. Peter's the CEO of Shortail. Peter, good morning, thanks for joining me. Thank you, good morning. So uh, let's start right off with uh, talking about one of the hot topics, cloud versus on-premises deployments. We see a very hot topic. I think one of the questions that companies have got to ask is how do they make that decision? How do they determine what's best for them? It, it very depends on uh, partly what the CTO thinks about should you put applications on-premise or should you put them in the cloud? And there are, it's almost religious. There are always two schools of thought. What we're seeing is that smaller to medium-sized companies are really accelerating the take on of cloud. Uh, the growth is extraordinary. So we're doing very, very well with both premise and cloud, but clearly the cloud growth uh, is much, much higher these days. So right, I mean, Shortel uh, as a company has uh, both on-prem and uh, cloud offerings. So where do you really see the future of uh, either one of them? Do you see one having an advantage? If you look at what the market research people tell us, and uh, their lens is as good as anyone's. By 2015, the markets for voice over IP on cloud and on premise are about the same size. So that has remarkable growth uh, in cloud to get there, but premise is still a huge market. So I don't see cloud overtaking premise completely, but clearly that's where the, that's where the buzz is. What about mobility? Mobility obviously playing a huge factor in the way people communicate, everybody bringing their own brands and, and, and models of smartphones uh, into the business environment. How is that changing what companies like Shortel have to do? Well, we were one of the first companies to have a really effective mobile offering, and it was almost the desk phone in your pocket, taking the traditional desk phone and putting the apps there on an Apple or an Android device. And we've learned a lot over the last two years in terms of how do you make that an even better user experience, simpler, linking it with the, uh, all the unified communications applications. And it's really helping both our premise and our cloud business to grow. So you touched on something that I think is critical to, to success with uh, communications technology, and that's ease of use. How do you make it easy for people right. to use? How, what are the keys to making it easy? Well, you have to look at the graphical user interface, which traditionally in our industry probably hasn't happened that much, but it's really essential because people now demand and expect a very, very interesting user experience. And then you have to make it very simple to use. It's got to be intuitive. And therefore, so it's not just the graphical user interface. It's, is it logical? Is it intuitive? So people instinctively know what to do, use the apps, and make themselves very productive. Along those same lines, a lot of people talking about video, but I see that uh, intuitiveness and that ease of use uh, also being a problem in videos. It's not quite as easy to use as it should be. How do we get to that point where it is? Well, I think that uh, is another inflection point in the industry. Video is traditionally much more complex to connect, to interact. Uh, people normally still ask for an administrative support rather than just do it themselves, and that, that highlights the problem. But the next generation of Vidro, which is also cloud-enabled, will have much better interface capability. And I think everybody recognizes for video to start accelerating again, because it's a bit stuck at the moment, that is needed. When we get to that point, is, are we going to see uh, increased adoption of uh, video capabilities? As long as the price points come down. Video is still a relatively expensive app, but I think if you put it into the cloud, you can get a different business model and a new price point, and that should accelerate adoption. So here at IT Expo this week, tell me about some of the uh, new and exciting things that Shortel's talking about and that Shortel's uh, showing. Well, we have uh, Shortel 13, which has got a whole new range of SIP enablement. We have our new mobile offering. Uh, so we, and we're sharing a booth with Ruckus, which is something we haven't done before, but uh, I think it's showing the collaboration and the partnership capability that we have as a company. So we're really excited to be here. Great, thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit before we wrap up about that relationship with Ruckus. It's a, it's a strong partnership, a strong alliance, which you forged about 18 months ago, and it's really, really doing well. And they're a great partner, a very, very edgy, fast-growing company like we are. So great partnership. Excellent. Well, Peter, thank you so much for joining me. Thank I'm talking you. here at IT Expo with uh, Shortail CEO Peter Blackmore. Thank you.